Today we're going to be talking about inequalities in two triangles. So we're going to be looking at two different triangles and we're going to try and be comparing side lengths or angle measures in those triangles. So you have your hinge theorem. In your hinge theorem you have to have two sides equal. And if angle B is greater than angle E, then side AC is going to be greater than side DF. Now the converse of that is you just switch the given and the proof, or the if and the then. AC is greater than DF, then angle B is greater than angle E. And you think about it. Think about like if you have two sticks that are fixated. So you have two sticks that are equal and fixed together. And you kind of have eight and you you move those sticks around. And if you have angle B is greater, if this angle is greater, it's going to make a larger side over here than this angle, which is smaller. Something else I want to make sure that I have to highlight here is you have to make sure you highlight that AB is congruent to DE and BC is congruent to EF. So you have to have those congruent sides. And that same piece should be true down here. Those congruent sides are really important to this theorem. If these sides in between the included angle aren't congruent, then this hinge theorem doesn't work. Our first example, compare the measures of AD and BD. So first confirm your congruent sides. So they've marked one congruent for us. They marked that congruent. The common side is congruent. So I need to compare AD and BD. Well, AD side, I'm sorry, angle C is 78. Angle AD, ACD is 70 versus DCB is 68. So the larger angle is going to give me the larger side. Now here, compare the measures of ABD. I'm going to mark it off just so that I kind of have an idea and BDC, just because so that I don't get lost and I know where, I know my angles, okay, that I'm trying to compare. And ABD, so I need to compare the measure of ABD to BDC. Make sure you have the common or a second side that is congruent. We have one that is already marked. AD is bigger than BC that makes angle B greater. Okay, find the possible range of values for A. Okay, so let's look at this. I have LD congruent to DN. I have DM congruent to itself. Since 18 is bigger than 16, 141 must be greater than 9a plus 15. So I subtract 15 from both sides and get 126 greater than 9a. I divide and I get a has to be less than 14. Now that's not it, okay? Also keep in mind that this angle right here 9a, let me rewrite that a little bit. 9a plus 15 also has to be greater than 0. So 9a has to be greater than negative 15. a has to be greater than a negative 5 thirds. And it's okay that a is negative there. So my range, negative 5 thirds, less than a, less than 14. 
Okay, that's a short and sweet video. Five, little over five minutes. I'll probably babble to us about five and a half minutes. Um, our inequalities in two triangles video. Thank you for watching.